Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a tutorial of a hairstyle that every time I wear it, I get bombarded on Instagram of how to do it, and it's really simple. So all you're gonna need is a tapered wand like this. You can, this is the T3, but you can also find it at Walmart, Target. You can find other brands that do the same thing. So I'm just gonna show you how I do my hair with the tapered wand and the products that I love that keep it glossy, shiny, and holds for days. Because even though my hair looks pretty good right now and I curled it with a bigger barrel, this hairstyle is not going to last me beyond tonight. But if I use my T3 curling wand, this will last me for a few days. So let's get into it. So it's always best to curl your hair when you have dirty hair because it just holds better. I have really fine hair. I have a lot of it, but it's very fine. So I have to be careful with what shampoos and conditioners that I use on my hair because it can really weigh it down. So for me, I'm not putting anything in my hair today. I'm just gonna start out curling my hair. So the first thing that you're gonna do after you section your hair is you're just gonna take a small piece. It's just like maybe a one inch section or smaller. And I hold my barrel upside down and let the root of the hair go on the biggest part of the barrel and the end of the hair go on the tiniest part of the barrel. Let it set for a few seconds in your hand after you let go. I even squeeze mine a little bit. And then once it's kind of cold off in my hand, I just drop it down. And you can see that took me just like five seconds now. So now we're just gonna do the whole head just like this. I think it's super important to know what type of hair you have because before I've seen all these girls using styling creams that help hold their hair. They'll put gel in their hair before they curl it. And I did all the tips and tricks and I could never get my curls to hold. And I realized after going to a really great hairdresser that she told me I actually had a lot of fine hair, which means it holds on to moisture, it holds on to product, and so that can really weigh my hair down. So I learned if I use a really good clarifying shampoo and a lighter conditioner, even though it is such a pain to detangle, that my curls actually last longer. So if you can find out what type of hair that you have, you can figure out how your hair is going to stay curled. Before I switched to my T3, I actually had a tapered wand from Walmart that lasted me almost 10 years. I think it was right on the nine year mark that it went out. And it was so awesome at curling my hair and it only had one setting, which was fine because it was just perfect for my hair, but a T3 has multiple settings, so I don't even have it all the way up because you don't want a lot of heat damage on your hair and using a heat protectant is super important just to keep the integrity of your hair, especially if you're doing a hairstyle like this all of the time. But like I said earlier, a hairstyle like this is great because it'll last you a few days so you won't have to put heat on your hair every single day. And as you can see, I'm still doing the same technique all around the head. I'm tipping the barrel downwards and having the root of the hair on the biggest part of the barrel and the ends of the hair on the tiniest part of the barrel. So I'm just doing my hair in sections, but one really important thing that I like to do is the top layer of my hair. I really save for the last to have the most attention to detail put to it because that's what lays on top of your head. So I don't really even have to look at the mirror to curl the rest of my hair because I'm curling it all the same direction and it's gonna be at the bottom layer of my head. So I'm just, I can actually do this hairstyle super fast because I've been doing it for so many years. And not to bring up The Bachelor again, but when we were in The Bachelor house, I had my tapered wand from Walmart and all the girls would like swarm to the mirrors and there were only like four full length mirrors between 30 of us girls. So you really had to like beat people to the punch to get a mirror, but I was never worried about that because I had my taper wand and I would just sit in the corner of the room and just do this and not even look and my hair would look really good afterwards. I was just one of the girls that 
had her hairstyle, knew how to do it, and wasn't too worried about the mirror. Also, growing up, my mom would always like to do my hair, but really, I got into doing my own hair by watching YouTubes. I think that's the whole reason why I ever first bought a tapered one, is I probably saw a YouTuber using it, and then I would just look up so many tutorials of how to use the tapered wand or any other curling iron or heating tool and that's really what got me kind of into beauty and makeup and hair tricks i just loved watching that kind of content on youtube and so that's the kind of content i miss and i guess that's why i'm trying to put out that type of content for you guys because that's what i like to watch Okay, now that I'm done with the base layer, I'm not gonna touch it too much with my fingers. I'm just going to work on the top section. And the only difference I'm gonna make from the top section to the rest of my hair is that I'm gonna do smaller pieces. So maybe an inch and a half or even smaller pieces. And this is just gonna give me a little bit more curl, a little bit more volume in the hair, and just really make that curl precise and defined. And when it comes to the front of my face, I just do the exact same thing. And we're gonna comb it out and pick it out later and really form it the way we want. But for now, we're just gonna let these curls sit because if you touch your curls right now, they're obviously not gonna last. And of course, curls are always gonna fall right after you curl them once they're not hot anymore. So you just kinda want to let them fall on their own so you're not adding any more weight to it than what it already has. Okay, now that my hair is completely curled or wanded, I guess, I'm wanting to add a little bit of volume. So one trick you can do is use dry shampoo. If you use dry shampoo, it can really make a grit in your hair and give you some volume. Or you can do what I like to do and use this dry texturizing spray. One reason why I like this is because it's really light. And like I said, I have a problem with my hair holding on to stuff. So I just wanna use something super light. So this texturizing spray is just gonna give me a little bit of grit in the hair so it can hold and just be a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my head. Okay, so let's just compare. One side with just that texturizing spray looks really big rather than this flatter side. So that's the whole purpose. I want big hair. I live in Texas. I mean, who doesn't want big hair here? And so now I'm just gonna do it on the other side. So you see the difference between flat and texturizing spray. So now that I have my texturizing spray in, I'm going to lightly, lightly comb my hair with a wide tooth comb. So the reason why we wanna do this lightly is because we don't wanna ruin the integrity of the curl, but we just need to get some of these flyaways to lay down. So I'm just lightly brushing on the very top layer. Okay, now that I have my big wavy hair, I want to add some shine. And if you have followed me on Instagram or if you've watched past YouTubes, I've been talking about the Shine Spray from Drawbar for forever. It's the Sparkling Soda Shine Mist and they reformulated it to where it has a UV shield, which protects your hair from the sun, which I think is super important and never really thought about before until this came out. So we're gonna put this on and we're also gonna put on the Color Wow Pop and Lock. And I love this stuff. So what this does is just bring a little shine to your hair and you just need a little, little squirt. And if you rub it out, you can kind of see the little sparkles. And you're gonna just put this in your hair so lightly. I try to avoid my bang area as much as I can and the roots of my hair because I tend to get really oily but I still want that really pretty glossy finish. So I'm gonna put this on first. This also is really good for frizzy hair. So if you have some frizz that you need to control and maintain, the Color Wow Pop and Lock is really great for that. Okay, lastly, we're gonna put the sparkling soda on top. And this is just my favorite part because it just makes the hair super shiny. <laughs> So you guys, that's it. That is how I get my big wavy hair and also really shiny. 
I get asked this question so much, how did you fix your hair like this? So let me know in the comments below if you try this hairstyle with a tapered wand and what products you like to use because maybe I want to try some that you like too. But until next time, I will see you soon. Bye.